Good day. Hello. How are you? It feels like it's been a minute since I uh, came to you via the medium of video. I have seen a movie, uh, and I'm here to review the movie Goodrich with Michael Keaton. Um, I was going to see a different movie. I was going, I had a ticket to see Rumors with a U. And this is a kind of a high concept. I don't really know what the deal is with Rumors. It's kind of an art house comedy. I've not seen a trailer, but I'd seen some weird images from it. And I know it's about like members of the G7 summit who end up in the woods in some kind of big alien brain or something. It's like a satirical kind of arty thing. And what's notable is that it has a critical consensus of like 90% and then an audience score of like 19%. But I just wasn't feeling that on a Tuesday night. Um, so I didn't see that movie. So this is not a review of rumors. I'm going to catch up with that at some point. I saw Goodrich with Michael Keaton, and this is basically a uh, rich guy problems movie, an old rich guy problems movie, but it's, it's Michael Keaton, and uh, we'll talk a lot about that, how Michael Keaton's presence does a whole lot for a movie like this. Uh, this is a, um, I don't know if it's a feature debut, but it's an actor, sometimes crew member named Hallie Myers Shire, who uh, has directed one other movie, I think, but this is, uh, this is um, a high-profile film from her, and uh, this is a very well-directed movie. Uh, I won't keep you in suspense. This movie's pretty good. I liked this movie. It's not great, but in a, in a, movie, in a movie year, when I'm getting, like, bonkers fatigue, we have so many weird movies. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to maybe kick rumors down the block. And in doing so, I probably missed its very, very narrow theatrical window, and I'll have to stream it. But I just wanted to have a nice movie experience. I just wanted to watch something uh, normal. I don't usually think in those terms, but like sometimes you just know what you're up for, you know? So I um, went to see Goodrich. And uh, Goodrich is the titular character played by Michael Keaton. He is an older gentleman. And this is a thing. This is a movie that is kind of a heartwarming family story about an old guy going through some tough times and learning hard lessons and getting to know himself. And uh, it's like a self-actualization movie about an old white guy. But um, it even acknowledges the fact that these are really rich person problems because this is a, about a, a, a guy with two with a multi-generational family situation where he had, he was married to a character played by Andy McDowell year, many years prior, and he has a daughter, that's Mila Kunis. She's 30 something and she is pregnant. She's having her first child. But he also has a new family with his new wife and he has two twins, two nine-year-old twins. And um, so it's about those, those issues of having like a, a double-tiered family. And they even make a comment in there that this is a very LA problem. Maybe not the remarrying and having another family, but the fact that he's got enough money that he can kind of like have all these families taken care of and mixed in together and like this little world. And and so the crisis of the movie is that uh, his current uh, wife, Naomi, at the very beginning of the movie, calls him in the middle of the night and says, I am in rehab. Uh, you didn't even notice that I had a pill problem. I'm leaving you, I'm gone. Um, take care of the kids by. And so this is his crisis where suddenly, you know, he's kind of a self-absorbed, he runs an art gallery. Again, these are like rich people, LA issues, not very relatable. And yet some of the fundamental ideas in this movie are some, which I can talk about and some, which I will not. Uh, but, uh, and also again, it's Michael Keaton. So he's really good at playing kind of a out of touch old white guy who can be kind of thick and self-centered and yet he's lovable and he's trying and you root for him. Um, Kevin Pollock is uh, his like uh, manager, or the, the guy who runs the business side of his art gallery. Great to see Kevin Pollock in a movie. Uh, he has, uh, I don't remember the actor's name. He, 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 befr he has to start taking the kids to school and making dinner for them. And it's almost like a Mr. Mom update, you know, where he's not, it's not Mr. Grandpa. He's not a grandpa until spoiler alert, uh, you know, uh, Chekhov's ticking womb goes off at the end of the movie. Um, those are these are his kids, but it's he's like. While Mr. Mom was a showcase for you know comedic Michael Keaton in the '80s, like here, can you imagine a man having to stay home and watch his children? Um, now it's kind of like great respected actor, beloved actor Michael Keaton is going to tackle you know all this stuff. So, uh, oh, when he takes the kids to school, 
Um, this is what I was getting at a moment ago. He makes friends with the dad of another kid in the elementary school uh, who is a gay guy. And I, again, I don't say that like, wow, the movie is kind of like, wow, very, a little bit archaic in the way this movie handles certain things and identity and because he is an old white guy, but he's also an art dealer. So he's not like a Archie Bunker kind of a character, but very interesting the way this movie handles him having a gay friend and the things that happen between him and his gay friend. Like, it's very like simplistic. It's good hearted. It's nothing like mean going on. It's just kind of like a little bit quaint. And this movie pushes right up against schmaltz and sometimes maybe dips in a little bit. But again, it's very well, it's very grounded in the performance of Michael Keaton and it's very well uh, handled and helmed. It's a good movie. It's a solid movie. It's not great. Uh, just, I'm trying to think of other things. Oh, there is, um, what's her name? Um, <laughs> Carmen Iogo is an actress. She was in... Um, many things. I don't know. She plays the daughter of, of an, of an older, uh, artist who has passed away and, uh, Goodrich is trying to like make a deal with her for like the rights to her mom's art. And there's an interesting relationship there. It takes a few twists and turns. Uh, but I just thought her performance was remarkable. Carmen Yoga, I really, really enjoyed her. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, this, you know, is not going to, I don't even know if this movie will have any awards clout. Michael Keaton's great. He always is. And it's so great that he's had a renaissance. Um, it's so good to see him. Uh, and, and you know, these filmmakers made me care about uh, this old rich art dealer's problems for a couple of hours. And there are also some issues, you know, when you kind of get down to the heart of what's going on, there is the marriage tension, which goes somewhere, maybe not where you expect it to go. Uh, in terms of the wife who, who, you know, does she come back or not and what happens when she does or not. But you already know from my other reviews that I do have a daughter and I have a, an only child, a daughter, and I have a very special uh, relationship with her as every father does with every child. But um, there are the fundamental issues of this movie. I won't spoil anything for the story, but to where it goes ultimately has so much to do with that father daughter dynamic and that, I, I'm a sucker for that, so that probably swayed me a little bit as well. So uh, that's all. Goodrich is is nice if you want to see, you know, a, a, a nicely paced drama, dramedy for grown-ups that's a little schmaltzy, a little tear-jerky, but also, like, solid and good and well-acted, and you won't be sorry that you saw it. Uh, I just hope we don't have to wait 36 years for Goodrich Goodrich. Josh out. Bye.